Now student we are going to solve question number 9.18 and in this question it is given to you a road of length 1.05 meter having negligible mass is supported at its end by two wires of steel two wires of steel number a wire is a steel wire and second wire is made up of aluminium okay fine it is also given both are having equal length okay and cross sectional area of wire a and wire B is a different for a cross sectional area is given to you 1 mm square and for B cross sectional area is given to you 2 mm square okay fine so at what point along road should a mass small m be suspended so that in order to produce number one condition equal stress and number second condition we have equal strain in both steel and aluminium wire clear so now concentrate here first I am going to solve here condition number A listen carefully Let's suppose I am saying here tension that is going here this is T1 and this one is T2 clear and we know if this is a weight I am saying here this is weight let's suppose this weight is W clear and let's suppose we place this weight at a distance X from this side clear I am assuming here let's suppose initial we have total length that is small L so from this uh, we can say wire number B the position of this weight uh, we are assuming this is L minus X distance clear so now how can we write in a first condition it is given to you equal stresses is generated in both wire so can we write like this T1 upon A1 this should be equal to T2 upon A2 clear to you now we can also write like this T1 upon A1 so A1 A1 means we can see this area so I can see yes this is 1 mm square clear I can say this is T2 by 2 clear so from here we can write like this t2 this is equal to twice of t1 clear we can say t2 t2 this should be equal to twice of t1 clear so this is equation number one now what we can do you can concentrate here actually this road is having uh, rotational as well as translational equilibrium why because you can say the net horizontal force and net vertical force both are zero clear and we can say this road is also not a rotating condition clear it means uh, let's suppose if I take here torque about this weight clear so how can we write if I am taking here torque torque about about let's suppose I am saying this point O so torque about O how can we write we can say due to this T1 we have a clockwise rotation so we can say T1 multiply x clear now if I talk about T2 so due to this T2 we are getting uh, anti-clockwise rotation clear so I can write this is T2 multiply L minus X and I can say this is equal to 0 clear so from here we can say T1 X this should be equal to T2 L minus X clear now in this question it is given T2 this should be equal to twice of T1 so T1 X this should be equal to twice of T1 L minus X we can say T1 and T1 both are cancelled out clear so value of X this is given by twice L minus 2 X clear so from here we can say value of X this is given by 2 L by 3 clear this value is given by 2 L by 3 so now we can say value of L value of L we can say uh, we have 1.05 1.05 clear so if we multiply it with 2 we can say this is 2.10 divide by 3 I can say this is 0 0.70 uh, meter clear value we are getting in a meter clear to everyone this is in meter clear so now we can say if we place this weight at a distance uh, 0 0.70 meter from this steel wire at the time we will get equal stresses in both wires clear to everyone so this is all about part number a clear now now here we are going to solve part number b and in part number b it is given to you equal strain in both steel and aluminium wire clear it means we can say delta l1 it should be equal to delta l2 clear now we can also write like this this is stress upon uh, i can say this is stress upon Young's modulus clear and this is also a stress upon Young's modulus clear now here we, I am talking about Young's modulus of aluminium and I, I am saying here this is Young's modulus of steel clear so what is value of stress in wire number A I can see this is given by T1 
divide by I can say area area of this uh, steel wire we have 1 mm square and we can say this is given by 200 into 10 to the power 9 clear and this should be equal to now we can say let's suppose T2 here we have T1 tension in this wire T2 tension in this wire clear so I can say T2 divide by now cross sectional area cross sectional area is given to you this is 2 and multiplied with I can see multiply with uh, what is value of Young's modulus for aluminium wire this is equal to 70 into 10 to the power 9 clear so now we can say this is a equal stress condition equal strain condition clear so we can say 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power 9 both are cancelled out 0 and 0 this one is also cancelled out clear so now we can say T1 divide by I can say this is 20 this should be equal to clear T1 divided by 20 this should be equal to I can say T2 divided by I can say uh, this one is 40 clear I can say this one is 40 clear to everyone 10 to the power 9 is cancel 0 and 0 cancel fine so here we are getting one relation T1 this should be equal to 10 by 7 times of T2 T1 this should be equal to 10 by 7 times of T2 clear to everyone so this is equation number 1 clear now let's suppose I am saying let's suppose I am placing this weight at a distance x from this wire clear so I can say let's suppose this is x so now we can say this value we have L minus x clear to everyone so now from here if I take here torque about this weight clear or let's suppose I am saying this is point O so if I take here torque about this point O then how can we write directly we can write like this T1x this should be equal to T2 L minus X clear now we can put here value of T1 clear so T1 value we have 10 by 7 T2 multiply X this should be equal to T2 L minus X we can say T2 and T2 this one cancelled out clear so if we solve it we can see 10 X this should be equal to 7 L minus 7 X clear so from here you can see I am writing this side uh, where I will write this side clear so 17x 17x this should be equal to I can say 7l so value of x this is given by 7l by 17 clear 7 by 17 into value of l A value of l we have 1.05 1.05 clear so if you multiply it you can see here we are getting 7.35 divided by 17 clear so yes now listen yes. now from here you can see if I write here value of x this is 7.35 divided by 17 clear so now if you divide it you can say uh, 7351 4 uh, 68 and 585 so 7.4 something something clear so we can say we are getting here this value 0 0.4 and I can say 3 yes correct absolutely correct clear so we are getting the value of x this is equal to 0 0.43 meter from this steel wire clear so it means if we place this weight at a distance of 0 0.43 meter from steel wire at the time we will find equal strain in both wires clear we will find equal strain in both wires clear so this is all about this question clear to you everyone